Okay. Now let's see how can we uh, practically make a circuit to verify the Kirchhoff of current law. So here I am going to connect two red color LED in parallel and in order to keep those two LED works in a safer mode, we know that we need to add a resistor over here. And uh, I am going to assume uh, the supply voltage of 10 volt. Uh, for that, to make these two LED works in a safer mode, I am calculating that resistance as 200 ohm as per our previous discussion. So that resistance, I am going to keep it over here. So now this is what actually original circuit. In this original circuit, I am going to measure current supplied by the battery and then current taken by the LED1 and LED2. So I am assuming the current supplied by the battery is I1, current taken by the first LED is I1 and current taken by... <laughs> Again. Yes. Let's take uh, current supplied by the battery is I and current taken by the first LED is I1, second LED is I2. Okay, so now we will try to measure current one by one by using single ammeter. So in the first case, I am going to use ammeter to measure the total current. So let us try to make this circuit and then we will see uh, the current supplied by the battery. Uh, uh, the resistance of actually 220 ohm, but uh, remember our calculated resistance is 200, but the available resistance in lab is 220 ohm. So I take uh, two resistors having resistance of 100 ohm and 120 ohm and I both connected in series to get the 220 ohm. So this is the uh, resistor and then uh, I connected two red LED in parallel. So this is on outside side and, and the other side is cathode side. Right, so resistor I already kept on the breadboard and I connected two LED in parallel. Now we need to start to connect from the battery. So we have to connect battery positive to resistor one end. So let us connect that first. Connecting battery positive to the resistor N. Resistor other end to ammeter positive. Connected supply positive to resistor one end. Next is the resistor other end to ammeter positive. This is ammeter. You can see ammeter having two terminal positive and negative. So now I should connect positive terminal of the ammeter to the resistor other side. Okay, so I am connecting res resistor other side with ammeter positive. So resistor other end connected to ammeter positive. Now ammeter negative has to be connected to on node of both the LEDs so, over here. So now what can I do? I can connect this ammeter negative to the two LED on node. Two LED cathode has to be connected to supply negative. This I'll connect to two LED negative. That's it. Okay, this is what the connection to measure the total current I. Okay. And, and, and now I'm going to keep 10 volt. can see now the total current supplied by the power supply is 37.1 milliampere. So this is the total current. So I am recording that total current here as 37.1 milliampere. Now let's see how to measure current through the first LED. So in that case, I am going to keep ammeter only in series with the LED1. Okay, so let us try to build this circuit on the breadboard. So resistor one end, and resistor other end must be connected to the anode of both LED. And then the first LED cathode must be connected to ammeter positive. And then ammeter negative, second LED cathode has to be connected to supply negative. Current through LED one. Supply to the resistor one end. Then Resistor other end, I am connecting to both LED on node terminal. So I keep it here on node cathode, second one on node. But see to that, this two LED cathode, LED one, this is LED two. Now I want to connect a meter in series with LED one. Okay, so LED one on node terminal, cathode terminal. Now I am going to connect a meter now in series with the LED one. So this is what ammeter positive terminal that must be connected to the 
first LED cathode. Okay, and the same column, first LED cathode. Right? And then as we already seen, second LED cathode, ammeter negative, supply negative. All must be in the same point. Right? So let's connect this ammeter. Let's connect all in a common point. So first I'm connecting ammeter negative to the second LED cathode, then supply negative to the second LED cathode. That's it. Now this will give the current through the first LED. So let's switch on. So let's give 10 volt supply. Right. So now you can see that the current through LED1 is 17.1 milliampere. Okay, let us record this on the table. So the current through first LED I1 is 17.1 milliampere. Now let's see how to measure current I2, which is current through second LED. Now the same circuit, the only difference is now I have to keep second LED cathode has to be connected to ammeter positive and then ammeter negative first LED cathode and supply negative should be in the same point so what should I do is now I just interchange the position so I am going to find out now current through this second LED so what I do I just take this two common point that is ammeter common point and supply common point which I keep it to the first LED and now let's connect so you can see now the current through second LED is about 17.9 milliampere. So let us record this on the table. So we found that the current through second LED is 17.9 milliampere. Now if you sum up this to I1 and I2, we will see clearly summation of this two current is almost equal to the current supplied by the battery. So we can say that Kirchhoff current lies very far. Thank you.